Hey guys, uh, Nate from Performance Part Out. I wanted to take a couple minutes and make a quick video showing you some of the new data logging tech we got from Tilesport. So this last week, FP put me in contact with the with Mike from Tilesport, who graciously decided to sponsor our race car and send us some new parts. So uh, we got this, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. He sent us some new logos, some apparel. What else did we get out of this box? Uh, I'm not going to open the box for you. I already opened everything. Uh, we got a set of replacement springs. We got a new diaphragm for our Tile 44. Uh, our race cars had a Tile 44 MVR wastegate for probably, well, the whole time that we've actually been running the car. Uh, we also used their blow off valve. Uh, this stuff is like completely reliable and basically no reason to use anything else. Uh, this is the go-to stuff. So let's check this thing out. So we'll get rid of the box. Okay, so the purpose of this, uh, we actually now have a position sensor on top of our wastegate hat. So I've already disassembled this. We'll get rid of the old original 44 piece. So this is actually similar to like a throttle position sensor. We're gonna run these three wires into our Haltech computer. Uh, it's just power, signal, ground, and zero to five volt output. And this little sensor is gonna tell us the position of our wastegate. So this is useful for diagnosing things such as, in our application, I believe the wastegate might be blowing open. Uh, we use a three port solenoid and we've run boost pressure directly to the bottom port of the wastegate down here. And then on the old hat, we ran a solenoid valve to the top. So when the solenoid's at zero, you're getting boost pressure to the bottom, but nothing to the top. So it just blows the wastegate open. That's your minimum boost pressure. Uh, your boost pressure should actually be equal to the spring pressure. Um, the spring pressure equal to the, um, the area of the valve times your exhaust back pressure. So, <clears throat> excuse me. We were targeting over 40 pounds of boost and we had roughly 20 PSI worth of, 21 PSI worth of spring pressure. And when you've got boost pressure going to the bottom and your solenoid is at 100%, you're putting wastegate or you're putting boost pressure to the top and the bottom of the diaphragm, which has no action on on the assembly. So then it's just your wastegate opens when your exhaust pressure times the valve area equals the spring pressure on the top. And since we already have the maximum amount of spring pressure in this wastegate, we have the, the maximum configuration of plain, black, blue, and yellow for springs. Um, we were getting into the situation with our FP Black Turbo where no matter what I set the boost controller to, 40 PSI is all it would make. And the guys at FP in discussion of a, an upcoming upgrade thought that it was possible that, that possibly the wastegate was opening up. So this new sensor is gonna tell us this. We'll be able to data log now what the position of the wastegate valve is and compare that relative to what we know the computer is giving for boost control output duty cycle. And um, we can make a judgment on what the next move is. And I suspect the next move for us is gonna be going to a four port uh, wastegate solenoid. So we can apply pressure to the top port and take pressure away from the bottom, which will allow us to multiply the amount of range we get out of this wastegate. So this sensor comes with the electronic sensor, an adapter, a new top hat with this flange set to it, uh, except the adapter. And then in the package is a couple O-rings. There's an O-ring seal here and there's an O-ring seal on the valve. So this will seal up nice and tight. And there's some stainless steel hardware to put it together, stainless steel set screws. And that's about it. Uh, while we have this apart, I'm gonna replace the old diaphragm. I believe this thing has been going strong since geez, like 2012, 2011. So uh, this is like a seven or eight year old diaphragm. We're gonna replace the diaphragm with a new one and sort of just rebuild this with a fresh set of springs, a fresh diaphragm and we're gonna put, put the sensor on, and I believe we're gonna go test it this week. So uh, thanks to Tile Sport. Uh, glad to be on board with you guys. Um, that was a nice thing to find out that uh, you know somebody was interested in sponsoring the car and sending us some parts, and uh, 
this is going to be great to uh, use this to do a little bit of the testing on the car rather than just guessing on why the boost control doesn't work the way we expect it to work. So uh, this is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, check back in later in the week. Uh, after this weekend, I should have some data logs to show everybody that includes this sensor and this information. Take it easy.